Hi, I'm Andrew with Prudent Reviews, and in this video, I provide a side-by-side -side comparison of Allclad D3 versus Allclad D5. Both collections are made in the USA, they're both compatible with induction, they're both oven safe up to 600 degrees, and they both have Allclad's signature handle design. But despite these similarities, there are some major differences that you should know before deciding which to buy. The first and most important difference is their construction. Allclad makes both collections with a steel exterior for strength and durability and an aluminum core for fast and even heat transfer. But the exact layering of these materials is different. D3 pans have a stainless steel cooking surface, an aluminum core, and a magnetic steel exterior. If you look closely at the rim of a D3 pan, you can see the three layers. D5 is made up of five layers. You get the same steel exterior and interior, but instead of one aluminum layer, the core is two aluminum layers separated by a thin steel core. Again, if you look closely at the rim, you can see all five layers. There are three advantages to D5's unique layering. First, the thin steel core diffuses heat transfer, which makes it heat slower but more evenly. Second, D5 is more forgiving. If you turn the heat up too high, it takes a little longer to react. The same goes for when you turn the heat down. This may sound like a negative, but it gives you some leeway while you're cooking. Lastly, steel is stronger than aluminum, so D5's steel core layer makes it even more durable and less likely to warp. There are also some downsides to D5's construction. As I mentioned, it heats up slightly slower than D3. To illustrate the difference, I poured four cups of water into both pans and turned the heat to high. The water in the D5 pan took four minutes and 35 seconds to reach a boil. The water in the D3 pan started to boil after four minutes and seven seconds. Another downside is that D5 is less responsive. It won't react as quickly to changes in temperature. This helps you avoid burning food, but doesn't give you the control that you might need for certain dishes. Lastly, it's heavier. The D3 12-inch fry pan weighs 2.8 pounds, and D5 weighs 3.2 pounds. Another major difference between all-clad D3 and D5 is the exterior finish. D3 cookware has a traditional polished finish, which is shiny and beautiful. With D5, you can choose between polished or a brushed finish. The brushed finish does a better job hiding fingerprints and smudges, but otherwise it doesn't have any impact on cooking performance. Although the shape of the handles is the same, D5 handles are longer than D3. For example, the D3 handle on the 12-inch fry pan is 8 inches long, but the D5 handle is 9 inches. The extra length allows you to keep your hand a little further from the heat. The lid handles are also different. Both are stainless steel and secured with two rivets, however the lid handles on D5 are significantly larger and feature an engraved all-clad logo, while the D3 handles are thinner and smooth with no logo. All pots and pans in the D5 collection have flared rims, but only the frying pans, skillets, and a few of the saucepans in the D3 collection have flared rims. The other saucepans and stock pots have straight rims that make it somewhat tricky to pour sauces. As I mentioned, D5 comes in two variations, brushed and polished. The only difference is the exterior finish, everything else is the same. D3 Stainless is Allclad's original and best-selling collection, but they recently came out with an upgraded version called D3 Every Day. One of the most common complaints about Allclad is that the handles are uncomfortable. Allclad modified the handle design slightly with the D3 Every Day collection. They made the indentation much more subtle so your hand doesn't sink in as much. You still get a safe and secure grip, but the handle is more comfortable to hold. They also added flared pouring rims to all pieces and extended the flat cooking surface of the skillet by 30%. Both collections are a hefty upfront investment, but the D5 collection is even more expensive than D3. Expect to pay between 10 and 30% more for D5. The fact is, both Allclad D3 and D5 are excellent options, but choosing the right collection for you comes down to performance, design, and price, and it's up to you to decide which factors are the most important. If you want precise control over your cooking, go with D3. If you're a multitasker in the kitchen and prefer more forgiving cookware, you might want to consider D5. Design-wise, the main difference is the exterior finish. If you love the brushed, matte look, D5 is the only option. 
If polished is your thing, you can choose between either. For most people, D3 is the best option. It's less expensive, heats up faster, and has that traditional shiny appearance. If you don't love Allclad's handles, the D3 Everyday Collection has a smoother, more comfortable design. If you want to learn more about these collections, I'll link to my full comparison in the description below. I'll also link to websites that sell D3 and D5. Those are affiliate links, so if you click and buy, I'll earn a commission, but at no extra cost to you. If you found this video helpful, check out this video where I compare all clad to made in. And don't forget to click the logo to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.